Alrighty guys, before this video gets started here, I do want to say right now, um, the, 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 a lot of the clips are about a week apart because I got my wisdom teeth removed and a lot of other stuff was going on. My computer here crashed, so all sorts of crap's going on. Um, so around the, around the three minute mark, um, and then after that, everything else is new. Or around three minutes, 30 seconds, everything else is new. So... Not much to say here. Stay tuned to the end though because I got some really sweet cold start videos. And honestly, after that, after I get my wisdom teeth taken out, that's when all the quality happens. So, just want to let you guys know that I'm done talking. On to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I am in a grain bin full of corn. Um, we're getting ready to get the sweep going here. I'll wait. So, um, get this truck here. About halfway loaded until we ran out of space. Or, you know, we didn't run out of space, but the sumps got empty and had to put the sweep in. So, we got the sweep in, had to take the motor off and the belt. Put the sweep in, it's a longer sweep, so it's a lot harder to put in than our last one, which is right in the next bin. Put the sweep in, put the engine on, or the engine motor on, got the cord going up and out of the way. Plug, it's unplugged, so I'm safe. I'm not gonna get stuck in here or anything, because, I mean, I'm pretty much on the floor right now. Um, yeah, so getting ready to get this thing going. I uh, don't think we're going to be able to get the whole bin empty, but we're definitely going to make a lot of progress on this. Uh, um, by the time you're seeing this, might or might not have my computer back. The computer's still in the works because the computer pretty much crashed on me and it's getting fixed. Well, they got it fixed and then it crashed again because some other problem popped up. So they're fixing my computer right now, so I'm editing on my old laptop, which is not the best. So yeah, we're out here getting this worked on. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop talking until we start making this spinning thing spin. I know what it's called. It's an auger. Safety third. You know, while I'm waiting, I feel a little hungry here, so. A little bit crunchy. Not about good. Pretty corny though. Well guys, turns out that truck was a lot less full than I thought it was, or, or more full than I thought it was. Um, truck's full now. Uh, we seem to be able to get in and out of here a lot easier, which we can do now. So, not sure what we're doing next. Might finish the video off here. Who knows? Alrighty guys, since I got the uh, Grandman situation figured out. Um, we're working on this Farmall F14, so I'm going to help Roger out with that. I'm going to clean up some of the schools with this rag here, so you know, they're actually workable. Um, yeah, so we're working on this Farmall F14. Don't sniff the gas. That gas is very bad. Very nasty. So, uh, Roger's goal is to get this thing going in a week. Um, I think he can do it. Uh, if you want to go check out his channel, I'll put a link to that right. Like, it's going to be like, probably like right there somewhere so go check it out go check his channel out alrighty guys recording with my phone now uh, so it's a little bit shaky um, see my, my GoPro died as soon as I got it um, but 
regards to the fact, uh, you guys have seen this, uh, this clip is actually taking place about a week after that last clip you guys saw. Because I got my wisdom teeth taken out and haven't been able to do anything for the past week and a half. No, not that long. Past week, really. Um, haven't been able to really do much of anything. Part of recovery, you know. Um, doing pretty good. Do this. It's really windy out. So, of course, Ohio is Ohio. And as soon as it starts to get warm again, it has to get about 20 degrees cooler. So, that's a thing. There we go. Anyway, like I was saying, now that I'm out of the wind and I actually can feel my hands again, um, no, you know, um, Ohio is Ohio, so the last clips were taken. You know, it was a good, you know, maybe 50, 60 degrees. And you know, it was actually about, it was almost in the 70s for a, you know, for a while there. And then of course, Ohio had to say, hi, you're actually gonna go through your fourth winter. And now it is a nice, crisp 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah, um, it's warming up though. But anyway, this is today's work. Um, I'm not sure how much is here, but there you go. A lot of corn left to do. We're gonna load up a truck, see, how, see where that gets us. And then we're gonna call it a day at that. Well, I uh, got a little confused. Turns out I got in the wrong bin. It's not this one, I think it might be a soybean bin, so. That's gonna be fun to clean out. All right, guys, here we are in the proper bin this time, full of soybeans. So we're not doing corn, we're doing soybeans today. And I'm realizing I probably should have brought a face covering of some sort because I'm gonna lose my lungs. So yeah, um, so there's, you know, in case you haven't seen how this all works already, you know, I've got a couple new people on here. Got your sweep auger here. And that goes into this center sump. And that, a little auger that goes under the bin here. Then eventually, because of this auger, and into the truck. So, pretty simple. Um, one of these days I'm gonna do a whole video on how grain bins work. Just that day's not today. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna wait until Roger's ready, and then we're gonna start up the sweep and everything and get going. Alrighty, got that one going. See a little bit coming out there. That's going. And then now the sweep's going. Now we get to work. That is why I always gotta watch out in soybeans. So now I'm paying myself more work. Alrighty guys, um, this is the next day from that last clip you just saw. Um, that was a Farmall F14 that was getting worked on. 
and the engine locked up on it when it tried to get started so getting that pulled out drug out of the uh, out of the shed i'm just heading back to the soybean bin that i was just in that got cleaned out when i was gone because you know i'm still at school and stuff so uh yeah getting the broom out of here so we can get that mess cleaned up and then see what the next thing is so yeah that's what i need <laughs> that's a clean grim bin looks like in case you were wondering So of course, Ohio being Ohio weather, you know, past few days have been chilly, but you know, tolerable. Um, but we, last week, it was nice, 60s and 70s. Today, our high is 32 Fahrenheit. And Wednesday, today's Monday, I'm recording this. Wednesday, our high is going to be 76, and then right back down to the 40s. So I think it's agreeable that Ohio is very bipolar. Of course, now time for everyone's favorite job, cleaning out rotten soybeans from the bottom of the hopper. Man, you know, this smells so nice right now. They should totally like make it into like, a cologne or something. I don't know. I'm kidding. If anybody took that seriously, I'm kidding. This smells like crap. I'm probably gonna throw up three times doing this. Scrape it out with a knife. Fun times. Here's something for you guys. I'll give $10 to anyone who can take a big handful of these rotten beans and eat it. Don't actually do that. That was a joke. Don't do that. You'll get sick. Safety third, kids. Hey guys, uh, it's actually now later in the day, Drew here. Um, forgot to record an outro for the video, of course, because I didn't know when the video was going to end. Um, so this is the outro now. Uh, if you enjoyed, you know, be sure to like the video, subscribe, do all that stuff. Check me out on Instagram, uh, so where you can see what's coming soon to the channel. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and more videos are coming soon. So, thanks for watching, guys.